if we had thus spake Zarathustra, we'd be playing it now. Because this is um, one of the mandolins that are so legendary that uh, tales, great odes, and poems are written about it. Uh, this is actually a 1925 Gibson F5 Fern. Uh, Lloyd Lore left the company in December of 1924. And who's to say that this mandolin wasn't started while Laura was there? It's quite possible. Let's show it to you on all sides. Look at that back. That is a gorgeous two-piece figured maple back and a figured maple neck. Very beautiful sides. Um, there's only one aberration to speak of on this instrument, and that's that the headstock scroll, as so often happens, was once off the instrument and was glued back on. And that just, I mean, Bill Monroe had that happen to his, and it, it just happens. So that's the one thing you could say about this that's a negative, but it's not much of a negative. The sound is extraordinary. <laughs> in all its radiant glory, but that is astonishingly loud. And that's with a low action. A bluegrass player would probably set the action higher, and then you'd have extreme volume. Wow, huh? string section of the orchestra take over and play the rest of Ra Rhapsody in Blue. This is one of the finest sounding and beautiful Gibson F5 vintage instruments as we have ever found. And if it's something you'd like to own for the rest of your life, just call us. 718-981-8585, Mandolin Brothers in Staten Island, New York.